Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Neil and welcome back to Beam NG Drive. In today's episode, we're going to be checking out a mod for the ETK 800 series. Uh, I saw Komodo play this and it was one of those times where I was like, I know we got to try this out. So you may have already seen it, but if you haven't, uh, this is no normal ETK 800 series. This is the resizable ETK 800. Uh, by Agent Y, and if you want to know what resizable means, I mean literally every aspect of this car is resizable. So if we go to the tuning, uh, and we go down a little bit, we can change the width, the height, the length. Let's make a really short, I don't know what I'm doing right now, but let's click apply and see what happens. That's what happens. <laughs> It's about the size of the steering wheel. Uh, so yeah, for the purposes of this video, though, I'm going to be using some of the presets he has so we don't have to fiddle around trying to get a working vehicle because he already has some right here. And as you can see with the dummy for scale, this is going to get pretty ridiculous. So uh, yeah, let's jump into it. But before we do that, a quick word from Apex Gaming PCs. If you haven't heard, I have partnered with Apex Gaming PCs to bring you three neological PCs, all custom made to play Beam and G Drive in pretty much any game you want at the best FPS possible. They all come with Ryzen CPUs, which are especially good for Beam and G Drive because this game is very CPU intensive, so you need all the FPS you can get. But yeah, if you do get one, uh, make sure to use code Neil at checkout until the end of February. You can get 10 percent off which i think is a pretty good deal so yeah thank you to apex gaming pcs and let's get back into the action all right so which one should we try first i guess we can go in order here at least a little bit here this is the 2d it says there's nothing wrong with this car as long as you look at it directly from the side so you can probably imagine what this is uh gonna look like <laughs> oh. oh my god can we Oh, can we drive this thing? Yes! And immediately get pancaked. I mean, we were already kind of pancaked. <laughs> how, how do I, where do I sit? Oh God, it's like driving a motorcycle. I can only drive it left. We're gonna go off the cliff. <laughs> uh, two dimensional car. Oh my God, oh God. It's a little wider now. I mean, it's more. You can it very easily banana this thing. I can't even drive it. This is undrivable. I mean, it is technically drivable, but not not really. <laughs> not in a straight line. I don't know. This is uh, absolutely insane. It's pretty cool looking though. Look at that. Look at that. It's it's like almost an optical illusion because it's like it's like this. But once you get to the side, it's like oh yeah, it's just a it's just a normal car. See. And then you go like this, and it is just all sorts of wrong. That's pretty cool, though. That is <laughs> very weird, but very cool. All right, so this is a pretty much a normal one, only it has very, very tiny, <laughs> tiny wheels. Uh, but, you know, it, it feels pretty much like a normal, uh, a normal car here. Just very, very tiny. Oh, oh, the handling is even pretty good. It doesn't handle any different. I mean, I'm not noticing it handling. Uh, any different maybe a little bit uh, less grippy, but they're, we're working with more or less rubber here So I guess it uh It kind of makes sense. Let's crash. Why not? <laughs> there we go. I wonder can we get other vehicles like this? too? I'd like to see a bastion like with all, all these different uh Versions, I think that would be pretty cool. All right. We have the the polar opposite of what we just drove This is again a normal ETK 800. It's the dawn condition. So it just has absolutely massive tires <laughs> oh, we're gonna collapse under our own weight with this one. Can we run over somebody in these? I feel like we should be able to run over somebody. Yes! Oh, I mean, tech kind of. Kind of. Oh, okay. And they're busted. <laughs> they're busted. You can really see the detail in the tires when they're this ginormous. Look at that. They're, they're, I don't know. They're really highly detailed. I gotta love it. How fast can we go with this thing? I guess it's not really made for speed. It's made for styling. Is this, is this stylish to anybody? I don't, I don't really know. But you know, it is a statement. That's for sure. I'm not sure on the legality. Not sure if this is street legal. But uh, since when have we ever cared about that? Uh oh, speed wobbles. Oh no. Oh no, we're only going 90 miles an hour. Well, I'm gonna try to turn at high speeds. Okay, you can still kind of turn. Can we drift it? Nope. <laughs> And there they go. Okay, well, that's the donk. I kind of like that one. I don't know. 
Yes, sir. Okay, so this is the micro car. It looks like something you'd see in a Despicable Me movie. Are we really stuck on that little tiny curb? There we go. There we go. Yeah, this looks like a straight up cartoon car. <laughs> straight up. I feel like it needs bigger tires. Oh, oh, this this is okay. Okay, this is another one that kind of barely, barely works. Oh, what is happening? What is happening? <laughs> I feel like some of these are going to be better for screenshots than to, to actually drive, but my god, does that look goofy. I wish it drove a little bit better. All right, let's try this one. The flat out. <laughs> the steering wheel sticking through the windshield. Hey, this one drives fairly normal, though. It's just very, very flat. It, it looks like a bad Photoshop, doesn't it? <laughs> but it, it's not. It's not somehow. Oh, god. Okay, okay. Let's hit somebody head on and see if we can kind of iron this out, make it look somewhat adorable again. There we go. Oh, <laughs> oh, get the pigeon too. Uh, didn't really help that much, but uh, you know, hey, this is kind of cool. It looks like one of those, like a go kart. You would sit in it, and then your head uh, sticks through the uh, the sunroof. Maybe that could be like kind of a normal look. It's just a very big go kart. Let's just go with that. Oh no, there's an even flatter one. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> No way this is going to drive. Hold on, let's get this on the, the actual ground here. Okay, so it kind of drives. It kind of works. <laughs> they, I I stress that. Can we, like, uh, drive under somebody? Yes, you can. Like butter. Wow, I can't believe this thing is running. Where's the engine? How is the engine working? Hold on, let's go under the T-Series. That's awesome! Oh, the hitboxes work, man. That is so cool. That is so cool. Where do you sit in this thing? I guess you don't, really. Oh, my good God. Yeah, you're, you're invincible. Nobody can hurt you. You literally just are too flat to be run over. That's insane. All right, so this is the RC car. Again, very normal looking until you drive next to other cars like we are here. <laughs> <laughs> this is a, yeah, it's a, I mean, it's a pretty big RC car, but it's still, still an RC car. We just annihilated that poor pigeon. Sorry about that. It's probably one of the fastest RC cars I've seen as well. Up to 70 miles an hour. That's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. We're okay. We're okay. I have no idea how I held that. We pop the tire. That's fine. 130 mile an hour RC car. We'll turn head on into somebody. Oh, we missed. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Even though we're an RC car, we can still absolutely wreck people. I love it, man. So I'm not going to show all of these because I do want you guys, I encourage you guys to check this out for yourself. So we're going to check out just a couple more here on the bigger side. Um. <laughs> But we do have some other cool stuff, like an SUV, Putin's limo, uh, you know, a limo edition. But yeah, let's try out the, the big version, just to see what we're dealing with here compared to... Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you see, it almost looks normal until you get, like, next to uh, other cars, and then it's just absolutely massive. But it's not, uh, it's not too crazy yet. Like, there's definitely SUVs that are this big. But uh, for for a wagon, it, it's very, very large. But it's not alarming yet. But uh, this is pretty much the smallest of the big cars. So it is going to get much worse or better, depending on uh, how you look at it. Yeah, let's see if we can just shove people out of the way. Of course we can. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> the bigger they are, the harder they fall, I guess you could say. Uh, but yeah, let's go bigger. Much bigger. Oh, my sweet Jesus. <laughs> oh, we can run over people with this, can't we? Uh, so this is the huge one, I'm pretty sure. But again, there is a few that I skipped over. There's increments of size here. And, oh no. I just want to see if this, how fast, I, I'm assuming this thing is not going to go very fast. But, uh, can we still even fit on the road? <laughs> I don't think we can. Again, this isn't the biggest one. This isn't even the biggest one. But uh, as I think this is about as fast as we're going to go. 
I don't know what kind of engine you have in this thing, but I can tell you it is probably not enough. But hey, we still kind of fit on the road here. So that's good. We're actually getting up to speed. What happens if we hit somebody? That's the question we all want the answer to. Here we go. <laughs> actually, not as destructive as I would have thought. Maybe the weight, it doesn't actually weigh... Maybe it still weighs the same as a normal ETK. And that's how it's not crushed under its own weight. I don't really know how that uh, that works. But uh, yeah, let's try the biggest version. Which goes by the name of the car crusher. You can barely even see the little dummy there. So this is going to be absolutely massive. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. 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 Yeah, this is... Uh, this is a bit much, isn't it? <laughs> this is a bit much, and we can just run over it. Yeah, I guess this thing's just super light. So you can't actually just absolutely flatten cars, but you can still run them over. Which is uh, pretty cool to me. We have to drive with... Like this. Like we're on a track. This thing is absolutely massive. How big is that NOS bottle? Like the size of a small building? <laughs> you can see this thing from space. Let's hit somebody at full speed. <laughs> Just effortlessly. All right, let's crash test. How do we how do we even crash test this? What do we crash it into? I guess some of these cars are kind of messing with my bumper. I guess we can crash into the rocks, but again, that's not really going to do anything anyway. I think this is uncrashable. I think it really is uncrashable. Look at this picture. This is just absolutely insane. <laughs> but that's why we love mods like this. I love Stuff like this. So, uh, to you, Agent Y, this is awesome. Can we get some other cars, though? I, I kind of want to see, like, a Bastion or a D-Series. Uh, just absolutely massive. Like, absolute unit uh, like this. But anyway, if you guys want to download this for yourself, I'll have a link down below. And while you're down there, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. See ya.